YouTube, what is good? Back at y'all with another banger. My first banger of NBA 2K21 Next Gen was finally able to secure a Next Gen console. If you like NBA 2K content, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you're new. I got content 2K bangers coming for y'all. And make sure you like the video. It helps the channel out a lot. Shout out to Dario for this glitch. I found the glitch thanks to him. So this is how to get unlimited warehouse games. You can play the same team over and over and over again. That way you don't blow through all 24 warehouse games before you even get half your badges. You will be able to get all your badges and then of course just complete all the warehouse challenges so you can get the Mamba Mentality badge. But the glitch starts with, you see, I throw an alley pass away. But it doesn't matter. Because one, I get this LeBron James style chase down block. Make sure you put on bronze chase down artists when you play these warehouse challenges. So you can get chase down blocks on these computers with ease. But you see, I have Jordan set a pick in the middle. That's how you do this play. You get the computer to set a screen in the middle facing that direction. You want them to face like towards the baseline. So you click the left stick. To get them to face that way once the screen is called. But all you gotta do is attempt three alley oops. You only have to complete them. Just attempt three alley oops. I do it in the very beginning just to get out the way. At this time, I didn't have all my playmaking badges. So I just, you know, abuse lobs and, you know, I'm gonna shoot some shots here and there. So basically, if you have your playmaking badges, just throw the three alley oops and then just do whatever the hell you want. It doesn't have to be in the beginning, but I recommend throwing them in the beginning. That way you don't forget because sometimes you might just forget. That's another thing right there. You see the computer loves to sag off. So, you know, if you have a point guard or a dimer on your team, they don't have to have dimer, but let's just say they do. You know, the computer likes to sag off. So, you know, let the point guard take it up and just call for it. Obviously, Michael Jordan doesn't have dimer. At least he shouldn't have dimer. But the computer's sagging off. I green up again for the Cashola baby. I mean, the glitch is pretty much it, you know, just attempt three alley-oops and then just play however you want to play. You can do those alley-oops all game. I don't know if there's an alley-oop cap, but that is a great way to get playing and badges. You basically call for a pick, get him to face the baseline pretty much, and don't even get him to hit the defender because, you know, then they'll switch. He can just run, make a beeline for the rim, and it's a lob every time. Now for defense, my best tip is just camp rebounds. I don't know. Uh, I try to bait for blocks, but the problem is uh, they just shoot and they don't drive. You know, the computer is very weird. So I don't know. But this gameplay is pretty much just going to be me commentating, talking about why Warehouse is a W. I don't want to edit around too much because I don't want you guys being able to say, oh, you just edited it through. You didn't really get that second game. You're capping. You probably lost one of the games. I don't know. I don't want to see any dumb comments like that. So this is just for proof that you do indeed get that second game. And as this gameplay goes on, I, you can see some valid ways to score, some effective ways to score to get your shooting badges, your playmaking badges, because now I'm just playing. And this is around when I first got the game. I couldn't really shoot like that. I'm not going to lie. I was having a really hard time timing fades. You know, I probably should just get a better gameplay for you. But, I don't know. You see, I didn't even change my pull-up. I had big on at the time. I now know that normal is the best fade in the game. But yeah, man. Warehouse is such a W. I wish this was in previous 2Ks, you know, an archetypes were a thing. I would have made so many builds. It's just that, you know, playing my career sucks. So, I am glad Warehouse is in the game. What do you guys think of Warehouse? Is it a W, an L, or an N? W is the only right answer. There's no reason not to like Warehouse. You can get your badges so fast. It's so much more playable in my career. My career is just all around horrible. So 2K, keep Warehouse in the game. And make badge progression a little faster. Because even with two times in this, I still don't think it's fast enough. But it's still quite doable. It's quite bearable. So keep it in the game. Every 2K should have Warehouse. And if anything, maybe have more warehouse games. So, you know, we don't have to blow through 23 games and get our badges. But the way, how do I decide which team I like to play over and over again? I like playing this team of Kyrie Irving, Zion Williamson, and Christian Leitner. Because you see, Kyrie Irving takes a lot of bad shots. He's making some of them in this game. But more often than not, 
he's going to miss a lot more. And Zion's not really a threat to shoot. You see, he doesn't really shoot. He shoots once in a while, but he hardly, hardly, hardly ever makes them. And Christian Leitner never attempts three. So you can leave him open all day long. So I love playing this team right here of Kyrie, Zion, and Leitner. Now, I don't play them anymore because now I'm actually trying to beat all of them. I have, at this point, I have almost all my badges. Look at all that playmaking XP you get. I have almost all my badges at this point. I need just two more finishing. And defense, I have a ways to go, but I know I'm going to get those badges naturally anyway, so it's not that big of a deal to me. See, I just got a rookie field. I didn't even play Park at this time. I was just focused on getting these badges. But you see, we load out, and look, play Warehouse Challenge as soon as I load out. And now we're loading back in, and you see, we are playing Kyrie Irving, Zion Williamson, and Christian Leitner once again. Once again, shout out to Domo. For this glitch. Domo is the homie. Now if you don't like how I'm explaining it. Or you don't understand how I'm explaining it. I think it's pretty simple. You just attempt 3 out of oops, Play however you want. And you know. Enjoy playing the same team. Again getting unlimited warehouse games. But for some reason you don't like my version. I have Dario's video in the description. If it's not in the description. Just remind me. I might have forgot. I will have it in the description. So. Yeah, check out the homie Dario, man. He posts some fire content. Dario is a cool-ass dude. You see computers sagging off. I could have shot. See, the alley-oop, it honestly shouldn't have worked right there because Kyrie was in perfect positioning. Maybe if he was a better defender. But, you know, it is what it is. But Kyrie Irving jacks up shots. He sells the bag. He is Hall of Fame style. But he is playing some great ball in real life. Hopefully he can keep it up. But uh, yeah, this is the best team to play in my opinion. Because there's only one shooter. And that one shooter, Kyrie, takes terrible shots. Look, Leitner doesn't take the shot. He takes a pull-up bricks. You know, he gets the, yeah, he gets the O rebound because I try to go for the block. You know, unfortunate stuff. But I don't want to keep you guys here too much longer. So I'm going to cap it off right here. If this video helped you out at all, make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. And hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications if you haven't already. So I got plenty of great tutorials coming up already. I just got this game and I'm already getting the hang of it very well. If you've never seen a video from me before, I'm basically a really good 2K player every single year. Just watch my 2K20 videos if you don't believe me. You know, every year, you know, I'm a pretty competitive player. I have a good record. And I play pretty well every single year. You know, I just had to secure a next-gen console. So just because you see that I'm a pro one now does not mean that I'm a bot. But, yeah. I'm out. Peace.